All right. Hey, this is Jacob. This is week seven of the Crypto Hopper cryptocurrency trading bot review. And the live uh, trading platform uh, is in beta and available now. You can find it if you scroll down to messages and find the link right here to apply to test that. Uh, they've also are working on the GDAX hopper issue that uh, required a minimum buy position of 0.01 BTC which would mean that you'd need to have a lot of cash to uh, effectively use that hopper uh, configuration. So once that's fixed, uh, let me test that out again and uh, do another week review on that strategy. But for now, this week, using the live trading bot, testing it with the different signals, I'll give two signal reviews uh, based on the current configuration here. All right, configuration is on the Bitrix signal hopper with the Bitrix. Uh, Bitcoin is the base currency to collect in. No strategy, just manual external signals only, allowing all coins so that you can catch all signal. Uh, percentage profit 100%, that's going to be overridden by a setting down below. Not using percentage lower bid or higher ask. Not using arbitrage, though you could, uh, without it conflicting with this. Stop loss, very tight at 1%. Trailing stop loss also at 1% and it engages at 2%. And I'm using the trailing stop loss only, which disables the percentage profit. So that allows me to ride a coin up as high as it's gonna go before um, coming down 1%. As soon as it does that, I'm looking for uh, conservative gains, but for those gains based on the signals to beat out the number of calls that sell at the stop loss. So we shall see how this goes. Um, max open time sell and buy six minutes, max open positions much more than needed for this strategy, but set at max at 500. Uh, percentage buy about is just 1%, and I'm not, I am not. haven't allocated uh, a set amount of BTC, so it will use everything in this particular test account uh, to uh, trade 1% of that. And we'll increase that if it looks like it's working. Uh, so here are the signals that I tested this out on. The first was the Coin Pulse Alpha. It has a very high performance rate, but uh, that shouldn't be used to determine the effectiveness of a signaling platform. This one simply uh, kicks one out every, you know, every five minutes or, uh, or less on average here, and it's based simply on a minimum price increase of 6% over the past five minutes. So even though a lot of these end up doing all right, um, a lot of them end up losing as well. These numbers are all showing the highest percentage that the coin reached over five and then 15 and so on intervals. I'll show you an example here. And an hour and then on uh, all the way down to a week. Uh, but this one is probably gonna be results for up to a day uh, because it's giving so many signals. Anyway, so some of those, a, a number of these end up in, being in a at a loss before going to uh, a gain or only hitting a small gain before going back down to a loss, but uh, just on the surface you wouldn't see that. So this ended up resulting in about a 1.25% uh, loss overall for me uh, of my total assets though, so uh, more loss in terms of just the positions that it traded. And um, I think the main thing is that it's just it's trying to catch coins as they're going up. It's trying to sell them before they go too far down. And it's just very hard, as any of us know, to really uh, be able to nail those points. So that ends up, I think, being uh, a loser. But let me know if you found a configuration that works well with that signal or you have a different result. I'm currently trying the Crypto Bullet which does fewer signals, probably on average one per day. There's been more in the last 24 hours. Again, the bot won't catch all of the signals. I've caught two out of the three uh, in today's Sia coin, XLM, and BTCD I did not catch. So XLM I caught sold at a 1% loss, uh, so that hit the stop loss. Sia coin had a huge run, but mine sold after the first uh, gain and drop um, at a little over 6%. And you can see that here.
right there. A um, little more than a 1% loss on that one. See a coin again. And then before that, we're all uh, coin pulse. You see all of those were a mix of losers, some bigger gainers. But overall, you know, and it looks like its its trend is to result in a loss simply because you're trying to catch very volatile coins uh, unless you, you play around with that configuration differently. The thing is, if you set a, a higher uh, percentage before the stop loss engages, the trailing stop loss engages, or you, and you don't use a stop loss, uh, ones that don't end up hitting that percentage and then just drop, because sometimes you're buying this coin at a 6%, that's the height of where it's going for that run, and it's just going to drop. So uh, definitely riskier. I would, I would, if you're going to experiment with that, or if you found something else that works, uh, let me know. But I'm trying uh, a signal with a, a better record, although much fewer signals. And I'll report on that in a week. See how it's going. The first, you know, two trades there, positive start, five percent. But see, let's see what it looks after, like after a week. Uh, the only other thing I noticed, the the one bug that I reported to the team on this system is that this upper amount of BTC invested in total BTC returns is not accurate. I'm not sure if it's only measuring the positive trades or what, but this is um, this shows a loss. And for this to show a loss, this must also have shown a loss since I didn't do any independent trading. Uh, finally, if this shows a gain, it should have obviously a higher gain than your total assets because it's been trading portions of it. So if this is successful with a 1%, uh, trade allocated, then I'll experiment moving it up and we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, the goal right now is to find some configuration that produces consistent positive results even in um, uh, some amount of changing markets because the signal uh, is based on a real person or team of people or analysts making these calls. All right, so that's the test for this week and um, we'll see how it goes. Talk to you soon.